Hello, so today we are continuing um, from our last tutorial and this time it's just a very quick one to talk about how you can publish to your own custom domain. So last time we were using the other site, the Open Productions example kind of site that I used. Um, today this is just another of our projects here. Um, from our dashboard, I've just clicked through to the website. This is this one is growthlessons.co. Um, we're now going to go and just click the publish site button at the top. Scroll over to the left bar here and you'll see um, that this is what we saw before. So you put your title in, your description of your website. And before what we did is we clicked here and we used a car.car.co URL, which is their own free one. And you can choose it there. However, when you want to upgrade and, and really publish your site in a professional way, you can go to use a custom domain and you will need a pro card account for that. Before we go on to talk about this and putting in the A records, you actually need to have your domain. So just um, a quick review of that. If you go over to a website such as namecheap.com or Porkbun, I also use. It's good. It's very cheap. Um, the best thing to do, I recommend, is you go to tld-list.com and you can search for your domain down here. Um, you know, whatever that domain is, .com domain, .co.uk, a .co, a .io, whatever that happens to be. And you can search and basically compare prices on all the different sites. So you can see Port Bun here have a current .com promotion, which is pretty good. Whatever service it is you decide to go with, um, for this one, we went for Namecheap. Actually, if you just go over to the left-hand side and you scroll down, you can see they actually have great documentation on card already for this. So underneath where you publish your custom domain, it says, how do I do this? If you click that, it will take you to their docs and you will see a lovely guide here, which is very easy to follow. But it is important that I suggest this because actually it has loads of different um, guides, uh, well, loads of links to the own registrar domain um, hosts documentation because obviously there's loads of different places you might have yours with GoDaddy or you might have yours with Port Barn etc and there are links here which you can click through and it will tell you a little more specifically about those individual websites although it's pretty basic and you can just follow this guide you only need to have three records anyway so we go over to our name cheap and we click on our domain that we've registered which is growthlessons.co down here I may have to blur of course some of our information out here and we're going to click on it and we're going to go to ooh, to manage and we're going to click advanced dns over on the right hand side and scroll down and you are basically going to come over to this little button here which is add new record and as you can see there are three records you're going to need which are the two a records and then the C name record as well, which is basically the domain name. So we are then going to go over, click add new record. So this one's first one will be an A record and you simply put in what you see here. So you've got the at symbol there, pop that in here. And then over here, you literally just copy and paste these and you go over paste them in, leave it on automatic, click tick, and it will add those. You can see I've already added my two records here and here, and I've added my C name record as well. Again, that'll just be a case of drop down and you scroll to C name and you input literally copy and paste all the details that you have here. That one will be a www for the C name. And then you put in the growthlessons.co target. And you just paste whatever is there and then you click tick on that as well you go over and you can see that you've put in your custom domain there and you've put in all the details and then you click publish changes now when you're doing this and you click publish changes it won't be as quick as um, the card.co url it may need up to an hour um, for it to take effect it just needs to you know redirect the records and and change the DNS records, etc. So it can take kind of an hour to sync. And just before we check out our finished published site, um, if you go over here, you can just see that you can change the images you have. So this is the share image that will post up on 
any social medias that you share a, the link, um, it will default, as it says, to a screenshot if not provided, which usually is perfectly fine to kind of display an example of your website. But if you want it to be more specific, for example, the page width is slightly larger for this. So what we've done is we've just created an image specifically of this middle bit here. Um, you can do that or you can choose a photo, whatever you'd like to um, have your share image as. And of course, your favicon down here. And that will basically be the little thing, the little icon that comes up usually somewhere around here in your browser or um, in your bookmarks. And you can choose that image as well and upload that. So here we are, your custom domain name up there and your beautiful card site. And that's done. If you actually go over um, back here, you can see that this will be whatever your preference is. So if you prefer the website to look www.growthlessons.co and someone types in growthlessons.co, it will actually correct it to www. at the beginning. Just kind of depends on what you prefer. I think the current trend seems to be purely the domain dot co com or whatever it is. Um, so we've got that preference there. So if you see, if I do go to www dot and press enter, it will load it back to growthlessons.co. Thank you so much. Hope you found this tutorial nice and quick and easy to follow. Um, basically your beginner's guide to publishing your card website to a custom domain. Take care. Any messages, do message them over at harry at nocodelife.com. Bye-bye.